Well, it is mid-September. We're getting a lot of cool nights. Warm days, hopper season. And actually today, I'm not gonna fish just hoppers. We're gonna use a variety of large flies. Hoppers, stimulators, and whatever other big objects I got in my box. We're gonna try them all and uh, hopefully catch a few fish. There's a trout rising out there. And sometimes, if you can land it on them, you can get them to hit that hopper even though it's not technically what they're feeding on. Like that. Oh. hard fishing big tries this time of year in, in this particular situation because the water's so slow they have time to look at it for so long you know your drift has to be drag free you have to have a perfect presentation just about and uh you know except when you're maybe twitching the hoppers or something like that but There we go. Very nice. My big fly setup is pretty simple. I like a short stout leader. The big nasties from uh, Rio are excellent big fly uh, leaders. They really turn over a, a grasshopper or a stimulator really well. A lot of times I will incorporate a swivel into my leader and uh, this th it doesn't look pretty but those big flies really do tend to helicopter. Uh, they're very wind resistant and they can cause a lot of twisting to go on in your line. And when your line twists too much, it can get really brittle. So when you set the hook on a fish or whatever, you can, you can snap off very easily. And uh, a swivel can really help alleviate some of that twisting. On the end of the leader, I tie a tippet ring. And from that tippet ring, I attach whatever uh, X tippet that I'm going to be fishing that day. For hoppers, I do like 4X or 5X. Uh, in this case, I'm using 5X because it is very slow moving water, very clear, and uh, the fish have a long time to look at it. In more broken water or heavier currents, uh, bigger rivers, then yeah, we're going to go 3X even and 4X because that's what it's going to take to not only cast the flies, but fight the fish in that bigger current. So this is the rig that I prefer for fishing hoppers, stimulators, or really any oversized dry fly that is wind resistant and is gonna twist. There we go. Nice. That was a nice fish. He came up fast, looked at it, turned around, came right back, boom. Now, let's try this. <laughs> this is something completely different. This is a stimulator. Let's see how trout react to this. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
took that with conviction. We now interrupt our program for a midge hatch. This might work. I got on a size 20 parachute Adams. Oh, that's two misses. Size 20. So, gonna have to be a little bit more patient here with how I set the hook. It's gonna be a little bit more slow. There we go. Notice how I had that long pause. That's how you fish small flies. There we go. Once again, you gotta let them have it. Just that little extra pause. Let them go down with it. That's a, you know, even a 12 inch trout or 10 inch trout, you know, you're looking at a size uh, 20 hook. It's not much of a gap. And uh, in order to hook that fish, they have to get pretty deep into their mouth. And you can see like even this one, even this one for letting them have it. And still just right in the front of his mouth there well that was weird it's over now it lasted about an hour and uh it was pretty fast and furious there uh just all of a sudden <clears throat> trout started rising everywhere and uh <laughs> there were just trout feeding everywhere and on these little small black gnats is what i think it was and um uh, i caught a couple on a size 20 parachute atoms but it was a nice little interlude, couple, picked up a couple quick ones, and we're back to trying to catch a couple more on this big stimulator pattern. You know, following a hatch can be an excellent time to fish a big attractor or fly like a stimulator. Even though the hatch is over and the fish aren't rising, they're still looking up. And uh, that's when I see that big stimulator floating down, and it's perfect meal. And sometimes what I'll do, if I remember, is figure out where a few of those fish were sitting when they were ha they were rising and i try to target them specifically with the big attractor fly there we go There we go. Well, I the last 30 fish or so that I've caught here. That was the first rainbow. There we go. Now that stimulator's working. Yeah. Another rainbow. There we go. Yeah. And it's really just a matter of just keep running it past them. You know, you miss them once if they come up and look at it. You miss them. Uh, give them a, a break. Cast somewhere else for a couple casts and then come back and try them again. A lot of times that's enough to get them to hit again. Yeah. 
my stimulator looks like a big old orange uh, elk hair caddis. It is so messed up. All the hackles off of it. And it's just a body with some elk hair wing. But those fish are still liking it. Well, it has certainly been an interesting evening. Started out with hoppers, switched to stimulators, ended up dropping down to a size 20 parachute atoms to hit a out of nowhere midge hatch that the trout just went nuts over and switched back to the stimulator for after the hatch. Caught fish on all patterns. Just another great evening on the water. Catch you next time. And hey, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Also, check us out online, darkskiesflyfishing.com. Thank you.